All right, in this short clip, I'm going to show you how we go from this sort of a weak strike slash grip to this in one session. As you can see, a little bit of a difference there. All I used was just a technique. There are a couple of different, or I would I should say several different techniques to improve the grip and the strike. Uh, this technique is just one of them. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving the dog the opportunity to play with this dog, which she already likes, but um, it's not a little tug. It's a little bit of a bigger tug, um, not too, too challenging, but it's definitely you know challenging enough. And what I'm doing with her is I'm letting her know that if I present the tug and she doesn't give me a strong enough strike, she doesn't give me a strong enough grip, the bunny flies out of her mouth. Just a precaution here, a disclaimer, I want to make sure that if you do use this technique, first of all, it should be done with somebody who has enough experience to help you out with this process. And second of all, that you do this with a healthy dog, a very confident dog. You don't want to spook the dog. You don't want the dog to get injured. So you wouldn't do this with a puppy. They have puppy teeth. You don't want to do it with a puppy that is teething. Bad experiences could happen. Uh, this is a dog that is already a, almost a year old. She's got all of her adult teeth in, and this is still fun for her. So I'm making her miss a bunch of times. Not miss, really, but I'm presenting the tug. She's giving me a very weak strike, and I'm letting her know, if you give me a pretty weak strike, the bunny fl flies out of your mouth. If you want the bunny to keep playing, to be alive, uh, or you know, to be in your possession, you have to give me a stronger strike, right? a stronger grip. Now, grip and strike are a little bit related, but a little bit different, too. Uh, a dog could have a really nice, strong grip, but a pretty weak strike. Uh, and this is kind of how you would address that. So it can happen. Uh, I'm also doing this with cautious, with care, with caution and care. I'm not carelessly ripping that tug out of her mouth. I'm gauging how much pressure she's giving me. If she, If I feel that the pressure she's giving me or the grip and the strike that she's giving is pretty weak, you know, then I'm attempting to rip that out of her mouth. But if I feel enough tension, you know, I'll let her enjoy it, right? I don't want her to have a, um, I want her to have a good time. And it takes a little bit of experience to be able to gauge that too. Um, you know, I, uh, I'm not just like r pulling that with all my strength. Uh, there is a little bit of gauging there. But you notice how we went from the beginning, which was she kept missing it, to now she's holding on to it. I'm picking her up off the ground. Uh, by the end of this session, she was giving me a nice, strong grip, a pretty decent strike as well. Again, this is only one technique. Uh, we want the dog to have fun. There are other techniques that improve the strike. Uh, there, are other, there are other techniques that improve the grip. This is just one. Um, uh, and also the other thing is grip is genetic. Some dogs, you never have to do this, and they give you a strong grip, a strong strike, and some you have to work on them a little bit.